guys, tip number one is to make sure that once we're in that handstand, nice and firmly with our heels above the line, that when we descend down to the bottom to that tripod position, that we have our hips sliding against the wall. We want to make sure that our balance is good. So we're going to let those hips come against the wall and then get into a nice compression position at the bottom. All right. What we don't want to do is have those hips fall off the wall, lose balance, or have to load up the arms too much and spend too much time at the bottom. Rule number two is to make sure that we use the coordination in that hip. So once we get into that tripod handstand position with our legs compressed on our elbows or together, I tend to have my, uh, my legs out wider, just more comfortable there, you can balance a little bit better and bring them all the way in, but whatever is comfortable. The main thing is your hips are resting against the wall and you're getting into that nice compression position, just like a thruster, ready to explode out. So what does it look like? Going to come up, hips come against the wall, in, and then open up. That leads to point number three, and that is to make sure that you push through the shoulders. Very important point. Push for the shoulders as soon as you're pushing from the bottom of the tripod position. So, especially when we're up in the top of the handstand, if you're not pushing for the shoulders or, or in gymnastics opening the shoulder position, you're going to be creating a shorter body position. So your li the likelihood of your heels slipping below the line increases. So you want to make sure you're pushing tall and that's going to help you open out and kind of arch your body to get through those tighter reps towards the end. All right, so pushing through the shoulders. There is a couple of drills that you can do just to open up those shoulders. It's very important if your mobility is deficient in that shoulder flexion position, make sure you give yourself a good stretch beforehand. I just open it out so you can come on the wall here in that angry cat position and just opening up through the shoulders, just doing 10 to 15 pulses and then just holding down there for 15 seconds. Okay. You can also do things where you've got your feet on a box. It doesn't need to be against the wall. It's a little bit harder against the wall, but feet on the box and just opening out into a shoulder flexion position. So you're going to start in a front support and just open up one, two, and then back. So we're just getting a little bit more vertical and just making a little bit more realistic to that handstand push-up position. One other tip, guys, that can be useful, particularly as you're getting tired, is to make sure you externally rotate those elbows or just get your elbows behind so you're using a little bit more tricep versus just being out and tiring out those shoulders. So you want to kind of bring those elbows in, use your lats and really try and push up using your triceps and your lats. So rather than just sort of blowing the elbows out and doing this, try and really get strong, get a bit of core in there and then open out through those shoulders. So you want to try and maybe warm up some of these tripod push-ups, so standing handstand push-ups where those elbows are coming back versus just coming to the side, coming back and open up, coming back and 